guys, it's Melissa. Happy Friday. Ish is are you guys happy today? I know some of you are not happy. This software is causing problems, right? Okay, so let's get to the bottom of this. I got a couple things to talk to you about. First of all, I'm going to tell you if you are not a Cameo 4 user, what version of the software you need to be doing on. And second of all, we're going to talk about how to get back to an older version so you can do that. And thirdly, we're going to talk about if you are a Cameo 4 user, what you need to do. So let's get to the bottom of some of this. So Cameo 3 users, um, Cameo 1, 2, 3 users, um, Portrait 1 and 2, Curio, you guys um, may be getting a prompt in Silhouette Studio to that there's a newer version of Silhouette. Um, Silhouette. The options, when it pops up in your software, will say, in, um, will say later or install. Never click install. Do you hear me? Um, never click install from the Silhouette prompt that comes up in Silhouette Studio, all right? Even if you really do want to install it, you wanna to go to the Silhouette America website. So when that little prop comes up, you're gonna say later. And then if you decide later or right then that you wanna update, you're gonna to go to the Silhouette America website. Now, those of you who are like, but Melissa, I already updated and now I'm really screwed because the software is causing all these bugs and what do I do? No worries, we're gonna get you back to where you were. Okay, so if you're a Cameo 4 user, you have no choice. In order to run that machine, you need v4.3, the current beta version, the current version, or I don't know why, but there's a legacy version that really should not be on there, and I have a call that I'm going to make right after this to Silhouette America and say, maybe you might want to take that one down. Um, so, however, if you are not on a Cameo 4, I would highly recommend that you not be using 4.3, and if you already accidentally updated it to it, all is not wrong with the world. I'm gonna get you back. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. First of all, if you are on a Mac, you can have multiple versions of the software on your machine. So Mac users, here's what you're gonna do. PC, I got you next, hang on. All right, so Mac users, you're gonna to go to silhouetteamerica.com backslash software, okay? When you get there, you're gonna see this. 4.3 is the cur current version, 4.3261 is beta, and then there's this thing called legacy. Legacy means older versions, okay? So ignore this first one. This is the one that I'm going to be suggesting, like maybe we shouldn't do that since it's buggier than all get up. Anyway, those of you on a, on a Mac, um, you can go ahead and download any of these. 4.2471 is probably the one that I would uh, make a last resort because that one's pretty buggy as well. But any of these other ones you should be okay on, all right? So you just click Mac and it'll... Um, Download, download that version of the software. Now, Mac users, you are able to have multiple versions of the software on your computer, as you can see I have here. You don't need to keep all these versions. I keep them because I do a lot of beta testing, obviously, and work with a lot of different versions of the software. Um, and so if you want to download it, it's going to look like this, where it just says Silhouette Studio. You may want to right-click and just rename it so you know which version you're using. Okay, all right, now, if you are on a PC, you've got a little bit of a different story. So for PC users, you actually are not able to, it will not allow you to download an older version of a software. So what you need to do, if you've already downloaded 4.3, is you need to uninstall that version of Silhouette Studio. First, get it off your computer. Before you do that, you should probably back up your library. I'll show you how to do that very quickly here. So you're just gonna go to your library, you're gonna click, um, your name in your library and you're going to click library export. Okay, and that will back up your entire library. All right. Okay, so after you do that um, Then what you're going to do PC users is you are going to go over here You've wiped silhouette studio off your computer 4.3 and you are going to pick one of these 4.2 versions and you are going to download that Okay and once you download that, then you will no longer be using v4.3 and your library, your old cut settings, everything should be well with the world again for you and your precious Cameo 1, 2, 3, okay? Now, as I said, if you have a Cameo 4, you have no choice. You have to go to 4.3. If you, um, it is a fine version of the software for as rushed out as it was and as little testing as was done, and don't get me started on that, but 
Um, just so you know, the reason 4.3 was put out on Monday and as the current version was essentially they were forced to do that because Cameo 4s were already shipping and the only way to operate the new machine, I'm pointing back here to my Cameo 4, the only way to operate the new machine is with this version of the software and that's why it went out. Unfortunately, because there's these auto updates, and right within the software, so many users took the update not realizing what they were doing or anything like that. It's, a, it's actually a very terrible default, if you ask me. And there used to be an option to say, turn off the auto update prompts, and now there is no longer that option. And um, so that's why we are where we are today. So to make a long story short, Cameo 123 users, you need to go back. I would highly suggest you go back, and this is where you're gonna do that. Cameo 4 users, you have no choice. I would not use 254, 261, and 258. Honestly, it's hard to even make a recommendation. I mean, these were released in the last two days. So I, you know, I, I wish I could tell you what to do uh, in the last two hours that I've been using 261. It seems okay. Um, so now, Cameo 4 users who are just getting started, I've got a whole ton of resources for you. I know there's like no tutorials out there. I have a bunch of them. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I've been like throwing up Cameo 4 on the basic. The entire month of September. So there's a new menu on silhouetteschoolblog.com that has all my Cameo 4 tutorials. If you click on that menu and you click the one that says um, set up and getting started, I've got five tutorials in progressive order from unboxing to your first cut. So it covers the software that you need, it covers how to set up Bluetooth, it, co it covers what to do with the adapters and the tools, and it covers um, obviously unboxing and then your first cut and it includes a free cut file as well. So you can work through those in progressive order and get yourself all set up, okay? And then I've also got, um, there's a couple troubleshooting things that people have been hitting, uh, finding. So I have a couple of blog posts on that as well to try to get you started um, successfully. The Cameo 4 is a good machine. The software, unfortunately, is just, it could have used another month, maybe. Um, but we are where we are. And this always happens with new machines and new software, and not just a silhouette. There's always some kind of releases that come up. You know, Apple puts out, you know, fixes, patches, whatever. But um, unfortunately, it seems like um, we experience a little bit more of them than maybe we would all, be, right? All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous weekend. If you have questions, post them in the comments. I cannot see anything right now. I cannot see any comments. I am not ignoring you. If my mom joined, hi, mom, you're always on. Hello. She doesn't even have a camera. She doesn't know what I'm talking about, but she sits and watches. I owe you a phone call. Um, and, yeah, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. I will see you soon.